hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the process of movie poster making so i'll show you the double exposure here the effects how to do that and how to write down like that the clipping mask and like as a effects and the other stuffs so if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so go to the file and go to the new options and i'll take a canvas which is like a4 type or letter type so i'm taking the a4 one and hit the create button so you're getting the white background and then go to the file and place embed it so here is my splash stock image and i'll give you that download link in my video description so just click once or hit the tick button it will just place over here press ctrl t and make it a little bit smaller it will be good like that and then just right press and resize the layer and then go to the file and place embedded options and here is my model so this one is stock image as well so i'll give you that stock download link in my video description so i'll making it bigger and then right press and flip horizontal and hit the tick button and right press this one and restylize the layer and drag this layer the behind the splash layer and after that splash layer opposite i'll make it reduce this one yeah that's good just watch that just make sure that the splash just cover the beard and it will make more sense for these photographs so that's good and hit the tick button and after that here this one just make it a screen like that yeah that's fine so it's good and now make the opposite 100 percent yeah that's good and then just select this this photo layer and go to the adjustment layer and go to the solid color and select the white solid color over here and now i'll mask it out so here when this one is white make it black it, it will be back so right press and select the first one layer and make the opacity and flow like that and increase the brush size and then just brush over here don't brush it too much otherwise the area of the photo will be appear so just brush over here so that's good that's good so yeah that's good and now if you want to remove that make it white and make the brush size smaller and just brush over here it will like remove like that so brush over here and that's good and now time to adjust the photo so you can adjust the photo according to this so that's good and now i will just mask it out so select this one again and make it white and go to the brush again and remove this portion that means you are brushing this portion so you are getting this type of effect so if you need you can adjust the photo if you need so select this photo and you can just adjust this one if you need so i want to adjust this one like that yeah that's fine our 80 percent work is done and now i'll add the effects and write down the name and give the effects like that so i'm selecting these three layers and making it group press ctrl g and give the name man so now i'll apply the effects so go to the adjustment layer and gradient map so from here i'll choose this color and select the color like uh, this and the orange color will be more lighter than this and hit ok hit ok and then go to the blending mode and go to soft light or make it soft light yeah nice effects that's good and then now i'll write down something so go to the text tool and select a font that is the lemon milk and i'll provide you that font download link in my video description so make the size of the font bigger and write down splash so make it black color that's good and just place it over here yeah, that's nice so press ctrl t and make this smaller size of the 
man photo that's good so i need to just adjust over here so select this one and adjust this one yeah that's fine i think that's perfect so if you need you can make it bigger press ctrl t and make it a little bit bigger yeah that's good so it's making more precisely like that so you can make it bigger like that yeah that's fine and here as well yeah the beard will cover the splash or splash will cover the beard whatever you can tell so here press just here and brush over here so this portion select this one actually when this one is black make it white or this one is white make it black so you can mask or you can just brush over this portion it will be more prominent and it will be more precise like that yeah that's good so here i'm call up the group man and now i will work with the text so splash go to the file and place embedded options and again import the flash splash whatever you can tell so right press restylize this one and right press and make it create clipping mask and adjust this one like that yeah that's fine select these two things make it merge that's good now go to the file and place embedded options and get the credits and other things so i'll give you like that so that's good and go to the file and place embedded options and from here the credits are other stuff so just place over here and hit the tick button and go to the blending mode and make it like uh, exclusion it will be like that so here i'll take the man in a downside that's good and the cast and queue this one credits and make it like that and this one i'll make it like this yeah the man photo yeah i'll arranging all the things like that so take again the text options and make the text size like 20 and write down the characters or the actor actress who just act in this movie press ctrl j and just take it like that so here write down another name like press ctrl j make the copy of this layer and just go to here and now select these three text and make it like that and make it group and make it in a place middle alignment so that's fine and all the thing is good and all the credits and other stuffs like that so press ctrl t and i'll make it a little bit smaller and these two things i'll make it like that and the text group i'll make it like that and that's good and now select all the layers and make it group and make it merge and, and go to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro 4 collection is a plugins of the photoshop and if you want to get the download link of this google nick collection please check out my video description so from here i'm using the cross processing and here are lots of methods you can use one of them which one is perfect for your topic or your photo so i think this one is good for my one and hit the ok button it will take time to load it up and give you the final output to produce or publish so you are getting like that so go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels options you can adjust the levels like that you can make it more precisely like that so our poster is ready hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you want to get the resource file and other stuff please check out my video description and if you have any kind of question, query, request, please do comment on my video comment section. And until the next video, I am ASMR signing out today. Bye-bye.